Streaming on platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and even TikTok at the same time is essential if you're trying to grow your audience. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do so. And don't worry, all of the tools and software discussed in this video is 100% free and it's easy to set up, so let's get right to it. So for context, everything that we're going to be doing today is within OBS Studio. That is the program that I use to stream. I find it's the best one because it has the most plugins and it has the most support. So just for context, you should use OBS Studio if you want to get this done. So first I'm going to show you how to stream on TikTok and a platform like YouTube, Twitch, or Kick at the same time. And this scenario is a little bit different because TikTok unfortunately doesn't give you a stream URL or stream key. They make you use their TikTok Live Studio app in order to stream and you need to have a thousand followers at, in the first place to download it. But today I'm going to show you how to get this set up where you can have OBS running and TikTok Live Studio running at the same time and your OBS is going to be streaming to Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, and then TikTok Live Studio is going to be streaming to TikTok. So on the right side here, you can see that we have this vertical scene, which is then mirrored to TikTok Live Studio, and I'm going to show you how to set that up. It's a plugin that you have to download for OBS, and we're going to do that right now. So to get this plugin, you want to go to this website above here. I'll make sure to link it in the description below as well. It's Atom TV Download Vertical, and this is the plugin that allows you to have a vertical scene in OBS and then mirror it over to TikTok Live Studio studio as well so you just go to click here download it for whatever platform that you're running windows or mac and then you want to go to the folder that you downloaded in and install it it's really quick and easy and it's free okay so once you have that downloaded and installed you'll notice that once you restart obs you'll have a new vertical scene here on the right hand side that you can customize to however you like and you should also see this vertical sources doc at the bottom here if you don't see that then make sure you go to obs docs at the top and make sure you click on vertical sources, vertical scenes, whatever one you're not seeing, right? Um, so this vertical scene is a completely new scene that's separate from your normal one. You see, I still have my horizontal one here and you can add any sources to it that you need to. So in the vertical sources tab that I have down here, I have my webcam and I have my Elgato HD 60X, which is connected to my PS5 right now. So that's why you can see the Rocket League gameplay and my webcam at the top. That is how this vertical scene is set up for me. So once you've set up your vertical scene to look however you'd like it to be, you're going to want to open up TikTok Live Studio as well and make sure you have portrait mode selected here since we have a vertical scene set up in OBS. That is going to be what we mirror to TikTok Live Studio. So in under portrait mode, you want to go to general, add a source, and we're going to be adding a new source here, a uh, camera, click add. And then here is where we're going to choose which camera that we want to be uh, mirrored from, right? So in the drop down here, you should see OBS virtual camera, and it's not selected for me right now because I already have one added to this scene, but this is the camera source that you want to select OBS virtual camera because it will grab whatever video capture is coming from OBS and put it right in TikTok Live Studio. So once you add that source, we're going to click out of it here and I'm going to just unhide my source and you should see this blue screen come up now. Uh, it's saying that it's like waiting for some video to come in from OBS, right? Once you have this set up, all you got to do is go back to your OBS. I have it open on the left here. And there's a little button uh, with an orange camera underneath your vertical scene. This is starting the virtual camera for that vertical scene. And once you click that button, you can see that we now have the video from OBS mirrored straight to TikTok Live Studio as well. This is all done through the virtual camera and it's so easy. One obvious benefit of this setup is that you can configure your stream however you want it to look like in OBS just one time and all you got to do is start the virtual camera and it looks exactly the same in TikTok Live Studio as well. You don't have to reconfigure much anything. So if you want to stream on TikTok Live Studio in landscape mode, you can actually do the similar process and you don't need the vertical plugin at all because the virtual camera will also work for your landscape scene in OBS. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to switch from TikTok Live Studio, we're going to switch from portrait mode to landscape mode, right? And you can see I already have a source added here. Sorry for the alert sound. You can see I already have a source added here for the OBS virtual camera, right? Um, but it's in the wrong resolution because it's right now it's using the, the vertical one. So we're going to need to turn off the virtual camera that's streaming from the vertical source. We turned it off. We're going to want to click on our landscape source, landscape scene, sorry, in OBS. And now we're going to click 
the start virtual camera down here. It's a different button, not this orange button, not the orange one that's underneath the vertical scene, the one that's in the bottom right hand corner under the controls dock. We're going to click that start virtual camera. And now you can see we have a different scene here. We just got to set it up here. We're going to set a different, different resolution here. And once that's set up, you can see now that we have everything we need. We see on TikTok Live Studio, we now have the landscape mode of the game stream. That's why you see the big Rocket League and then my little camera on the side there. That's the landscape version of the stream that I want in OBS Studio. So now that we've covered how to multi-stream on TikTok, now I wanna show you how to multi-stream on all of the other platforms like YouTube, Twitch, and Kick that actually do give you a stream key and URL, and it's super easy. All you need to use is OBS. You don't need any other software. You will need a new plugin for OBS, and it's called the Multiple RTMP Outputs plugin, and I'll make sure to leave the link to the plugin in the description. But once you get to this page, all you wanna do is go to the download page. It opens up a GitHub. You can see that this plugin is open source, and don't worry, I know even though it's in another language, it's completely safe. There are many people who use it. It's, it's been here for years, and you can see all of the code for yourself if you're really worried. But anyways, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the GitHub page, and you're going to see the assets here. Now, under assets, this is where you're going to want to choose which uh, operating system that you're running to, to download this plugin. Since I have Windows, we're going to click on the Windows installer EXE, and it's gonna download straight to your computer. Again, this is completely safe, open source software. Many, many, many people use this as well today. So once you download and install that plugin, let's go back to OBS. You're probably gonna to have to restart your OBS for this one. And we're gonna have a new doc here that you can see. So we're gonna to go to docs at the top and multiple output. This is the new doc that the plugin has just installed. So let's click multiple output and let me make it a little bit bigger here so you guys can see one second but it's very very simple let me make it pretty big yep so as you can see it's very simple this is the multiple output doc and all we're going to do is add a target adding a target is whatever different streaming platform that you are trying to stream now i'm going to show you how to add a new target here so you can stream to whichever other platform that you have like youtube or kick or twitch but first i want to show you something really quickly so we're going to go to our settings and go to the stream settings. And as you can see here in OBS already, I am streaming through Twitch. Like OBS, like Twitch is my default streaming platform. So when I'm adding a new target, I don't need to include Twitch. I only need to include the other platforms that I'm trying to stream to, like YouTube, for example. So just wanted to show you that for context. We're gonna cancel this and we're gonna click add a new target. Now at the top, we put in a name here. So we're just gonna put YouTube protocol RTMP. We're going to leave that the same. And here is where you're going to get your URL and stream key. Now to get your URL and stream key, you're going to want to first go to your YouTube page and click the go live button. And after you click the go live button, YouTube will then provide you with the URL and stream key that you can add here so that you can stream to uh, both platforms at the same time. Um, you can leave pretty much all of the other uh, settings the same. Click OK. And once you click OK, you'll have a new target that's right here. So now we have our YouTube target set up. If you have another target that you want to stream to, you can just go through the same steps that we did before. And now you can start streaming. So first, you want to make sure to click on the Start Streaming button in the Controls dock in the bottom right-hand corner that we have here. And then you want to click on Start Streaming YouTube right here. Alternatively, let's say you have a lot of different sources that you want to stream to at the same time you don't have to click start for each one you can just press the start all button right here but make sure you do it after you start streaming for your main platform this this button in the bottom right hand corner that controls the streaming to twitch and all everything in the multiple output doc controls all of the other platforms and that's it. As you can see, streaming to multiple platforms at the same time is pretty easy to do. But you might be asking yourself, with all of these platforms, how can I keep up with the chat at the same time, right? Well, for me right now, what I do is just have different docs set up and I, you know, kind of shake my head and try to read all the chats at the same time since I don't have that many viewers. But if you want to combine all the chats from all of the different streaming platforms that you have into one, there is a tool that is out there that you can download 
and it's called Caster Labs. I haven't tried this out yet, but I've heard very good things about it. It's also very, it's also free to use. I just wanted to put this out there in case you guys are wondering how to merge the chats. I would go and give this a try. I'll probably give this a try myself very soon. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you could give me a like and subscribe. That way I know to keep making more videos like this and happy streaming. I'll catch you next time.